Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to lecture 39. Uh, we have been discussing about uh, the Langrange points on the normalized scale. So, we start with that. So, if you look in the previous lecture, we have derived this. Okay. So, mu 1 by r 1 cube, mu 1 by r 1 cube and then r 1 2 by x b 2, r 1 2 by x b 2 equal to 1. So, if we look into this mu 1 on the normalized scale, okay, once we are using this uh, say on the no normalized scale already we have mentioned somewhere this mu 1. So, if you use the normalized scale for this. So, mu 1 needs to be replaced by mu uh, 1 minus mu star. So, mu 1 is on the normalized scale 1 minus mu star and mu 2 is mu star on the normalized scale. Already for the omega we have eliminated using the normalized scale, but these things were remaining. Now, also the distances already we have mentioned that the, if this is b, so this distance is mu star and uh, this distance will be equal to 1 minus mu star. Because if you add 1 my mu star times plus 1 minus mu star. So, this gives you 1. Okay. So, this is unit distance, this is 1 and this is 2. So, r 1 2 equal to 1. Okay. This mass is mu star here and this mass is 1 minus mu star. And depending on the heaviness of the mass with respect to each other, your barry center, it will shift either to the left or to the right. Okay. So, r 1 2 equal to 1 and similarly, this uh, mu 1 then is your because g equal to 1, okay, remember we, you are mu equal to g times m 1 and then you are dividing it by g m 1 plus m 2 to get mu star, remove this. So, the, this is uh, and here let us write m 2, mu star you are getting it this way. So, the already quantity in the denominator is 1 and g times m 2 is nothing but your mu 2. So, mu 2 equal to mu star. So, the, this fact we are going to use and we I have written here. In the same way the g times m 1 divided by g times m 1 plus m 2. we can check this the upper one is mu 1 and lower one is denominator is mu and this we have written as this is nothing but your mu 1 star this normalized form which is nothing but 1 minus mu star. Here once we have written here mu 2 equal to mu star. So, uh, this is mu 2 and divided by 1 mu equal to 1. So, the same way we write here or write it like this mu 1 equal to because on the normalized scale mu equal to 1 and therefore, this gets reduced to mu 1 equal to 1 minus mu star which I have written here in this place. So, if I insert here, so this becomes 1 minus mu star divided by r 1 cube and r 1 2 is already 1 and x b 2 from this place if we look x b 2. So, x b 2 is the this distance 
this is x b 2 and which is nothing but 1 minus mu star already I have written. So, we get this as 1 from here okay, and this implies r 1 equal to 1. and this equal to R 1 2. Also, if we go back and look here into this equation, so you will find that mu 1 equal to on the normalized scale mu 1 is 1 minus mu star divided by R 1 q and x b 1 is nothing but mu star on the right hand side you have mu 2 which is nothing but mu a star and r 2 q and x b 2 is nothing but uh, 1 minus mu a star as per the figure we have made here. Okay. So, from here immediately we can conclude that r 1 equal to r 2. So, one result we are getting here, another result we are getting here in this place r 1 equal to r 2 and therefore, this must be equal to r 2. So, therefore, r 1 equal to r 2 equal to r 1 2, this is the result on the normalized scale. Something more I have to write it here. So, x b 1 plus x b 2, this we have written as r 1 2. and on the normalized scale this quantity is 1 and also x b 1 times m 1 this is center of mass property x b 2 times m 2 this is these are magnitude wise not with sign. So, from here x b 2 we can replace in the above equation. So, we get x b 1 plus x b 2 from here becomes x b 1 m 1 divided by m 2 this equal to 1 and you can check x b 1 can be taken outside. Okay. So, this becomes m 1 plus m 2 divided by m 2 equal to 1 okay. and on the normalized scale if I choose m 1 plus m 2 equal to 1. So, x b 1 e, e, and m 2 we write as mu star okay, as we are writing and this as mu. Okay. So, this becomes mu divided by mu a star equal to 1 and immediately we can see that x b 1 equal to mu a star divided by mu this and mu equal to 1 on normalized scale therefore, this gets reduced to mu a star. And using this then we can also write this implies x b 2 equal to 1 minus mu a star because on the normalized scale we have x b 1 plus x b 2 equal to 1. So, immediately we can write x b 2 equal to 1 minus mu star. So, this is your result on the normalized scale So, what we are getting here that so, using this this implies as from the previous discussion we are getting here r 1 equal to r 2 equal to r 1 2 this equal to 1. So, the three masses the three bodies lie on the vertices of an equilateral triangle. in the synodic frame. So, and this is a configuration for equilibrium. Equilibrium state or Langrange points 
we are writing this as Lagrange points or we are writing this as the librational points. Well, this is your mass m1, this is mass m2 here and mass m3 is present here, this is 1, this is 1 and this is 1. So, you know well that on this side also r 1 equal to r 2 will be satisfied and this is r 1 2. And immediately if the barycenter is here, it depends on which mass is heavier. If m 2 is heavier, it will lie on this side. If it is m 1 is heavier, it will lie on this side. But in all the figures, I have shown it on the left hand side. So, I will continue with this figure only and its coordinate can be then immediately determined. This is y coordinate and from here to here, this is the x coordinate. So, this is your mass m whose coordinates are abscess and uh, ordinates are x and y. Therefore, y equal to 1 cos 1 sin 60 degree this is equal to root 3 y 2 and we give here plus minus to indicate that here in this direction this is x s and downward we have the along this direction we have y s. So, in on this side this is positive on this side we are showing the negative distance. So, accordingly we can choose from this point. So, this is your ordinate on the normalized scale and on the uh, and the x coordinate similarly can be obtained from this point. This distance is known to us this is mu star and this distance is also known to us. Let us write this point as d and this as a. So, a d is also known to us which is 1 cos 60 degree that is 1 by 2. So, a d minus b a d minus a b a d minus a b that gives you b d which is your x here in this case. So, 1 by 2 minus mu star as this distance from here to here this distance is your mu star. This mass is 1 minus mu star. You can check 1 minus mu star the left hand side mass m 1 times x b 1 which is mu star you can see on that the right hand side m 2 x b 2. So, m 2 is mu star and x b 2 is 1 minus mu star. So, they satisfy they are equal to each other. So, there is no problem in that. So, this way we have got the solution here in this place. So, x coordinate is given by 1 by 2 which is the distance from this point to this point this is half of the r 1 2 this is 1 by 2 and minus this distance which is mu star. So, this turns out to be 1 by 2 minus mu star. So, this is your x coordinate and what we have got on the normalized scale. Okay, now, if, uh, instead of doing this way alternatively we can work uh, using the formal method uh, which I have told you that uh, formal method in that will involve where omega we do not make it to 1. Okay, we carry it and then solve it, but in that case depending on how you are trying to proceed it can be done in little shorter also, but I will take a little longer route and finish this part. So, that you understand it better what is that uh, what are the differences between all of them.
from equation 2 here in the lecture uh, 38 this equation Okay, already we have written that in the case omega equal to 1, we made it 1 and solved the problem on the normalized scale. Now, I am not going to normalize it. From equation 1 in lecture 38, similarly omega square x will be equal to So, from this place if we insert A and B, A into B we get omega square x equal to omega square x plus same result as we have derived earlier. Till this it is the same, but thereafter the things are starts getting little lengthy. And this implies Now, equation this equation, equation A can be rewritten as rewritten using omega square equal to mu by R 1 to Q this already I have explained that the period of these two particles or two bodies m 1 and m 2 about each other or either about the very center will be given by omega square equal to mu by 1 r mu r 1 to whole cube where this is 1 and this is 2 this distance we have written as r 1 2. Okay. So, this we name as inserting equation D into A. Mu by R 1 to Q mu 1 by R 1 Q And immediately you can see that if you tend to normalize by dividing both sides by mu and writing this as 1 minus mu star and mu 2 by mu equal to mu star. So, this gets reduced to the original form what we have started with.
equation E can be rewritten using the earlier information we have here using C using equation C as follows. This equation we are rewriting here mu 1 by r 1 cube plus mu 2 by r 2 cube. This we have to replace. So, we are going to replace from this place mu 2 by r 2 cube mu 1 by r cube r 1 cube r 1 cube times x b 1 by x b 2 and this is equal to mu by r 1 2 cube. And if we rearrange And this implies mu 1 by r 1 cube r 1 2 divided by x b 2 equal to mu by r 1 2 cube. Remember that this quantity here this is nothing but r 1 2. So, therefore, from th this we get mu 1 by r 1 cube equal to mu by r 1 2 to the power 4 b by rearranging times x b 2. Similarly, we can get this step I am leaving to you. Get mu 2 by r 2 cube equal to mu by r 1 2 to the power 4 x b 1. Now, if we divide f by g dividing f by g we get mu 1 divided by mu 2 times r 2 cube divided by r 1 cube on the right hand side mu this quantity is common. So, this we get as x b 2 divided by x b 1. And as we know that uh, x b 1 times m 1 this equal to x b 2 times m 2 and dividing it by mu which is mu is nothing but we, uh, we, uh, we, we can what we can do at next stage already I have done, but uh, I keep repeating the things for your convenience g times b 2 g m 2 divided by g times. So, it does not make any difference m 1 m m 2 is a non 0 on both sides we have divided by it and g g is present throughout. So, this leads you to g 1 and this quantity is mu 1 by mu and x b 2 and this is mu 2 divided by mu. So, x b 2 divided by x b 1 is nothing but mu 1 by mu 2 or we can write it like this. So, this is nothing but your uh, 1 minus mu star divided by 
मी मिस्टर सो दिस क्वांटिटी इज म्यू वन बाय म्यू एंड नाउ दिस इज जी this part this part cancels out leaving us with r1 square r1 whole cube this implies r1 cube equal to r2 cube so on the not normalized scale this is how we get the result and this implies your r1 equal to r2 and then once we put back this result into this equation e so here let us write this as h this is i inserting equation i into equation e and this equation so the left hand side is mu by r1 to whole cube right hand side is mu1 by r1 cube and mu2 by r2 cube I replace this so we write it like this 1 by r1 to whole cube this equal to mu1 by mu r1 cube plus mu2 by mu r2 cube and this implies mu1 by this is 1 minus mu star r1 cube plus mu star by r2 cube now already r1 cube and r2 cube we have seen that let's say equal okay therefore mu by r1 to cube this becomes equal to 1 minus mu star divided by r1 cube okay plus mu star divided by r1 cube and you see that this gets us to mu already we have divided this is 1 so r1 cube and this implies r1 to equal to r1 so what we have got here r1 to equal to r1 this is i then this equation we write as j so from i and j j we see that r1 equal to r2 equal to r12 so we have got to the uh, same result what we uh, got using the equilateral triangle Uh, sorry the normalized scale on the unnormalized scale also we get the same result it's not uh, nothing much different okay but we can observe that uh, doing by this method it has taken us a lot of time and uh, we do not also get anything extra in terms of uh, understanding of the system therefore normalized scale working it's always preferable but still i will complete this part on the non normalized scale and also we have to go and find out uh, these are the non collinear solution means m1 m m1 and m2 they are lying here and m is lying here here your m is lying or either m is lying here this is the solution on the equilateral triangle now we look for the collinear solution why we look for the collinear solution because the equilibrium can also exist in the collinear form equilibrium states so that will be visible from if we go back look here into the equation say in the equilibrium state x dot and y double dot this will be zero and what we are left with this term 
Okay. So, there we assume that y is non-zero, but if y is zero, so the right hand side also equal to zero and left hand side also equal to zero, that means y equal to zero is also a solution for the equilibrium state and z equal to zero already we have got. From here we have got z equal to zero by assigning this quantity to zero. Similarly, here y equal to 0, if we put here y equal to 0, y equal to 0, y equal to 0 and this already for the equilibrium these things are 0, okay. this equal to 0, this equal to 0. So, therefore, these things are eliminated and the equation 2 is then satisfied with y equal to 0 also. So, therefore, looking for the collinear solution is also important. Now, we can look into the collinear solution for equilibrium points or the Lagrange points. And this we are doing on the basis of uh, writing y double dot minus omega s square uh, y plus 2 omega x dot here this quantity we are setting to 0 this quantity we are setting to 0 so minus omega s square y And as we can see, this can be written as mu 1 r 1 q So, this can be satisfied if y equal to 0, this will immediately get satisfied. this is minus here. So, if y equal to 0, we are getting the solution that means, now we have to look for the solution where m 1 and m 2 are lying like this y equal to 0 and also z equal to 0. That means, we have only the x s and here this is b. So, y s we have taken it downside. So, here in this situation our equilibrium points will lie only along this axis and we have to search for where those equilibrium points are lying. So, we will do this in the next lecture. Thank you very much.